Hey guys, it's Rosie, and welcome to my Let's Play of the Mortuary Assistant. Now this is a demo game where we are called into work one late night to do some embalmings. So we'll just get started and we'll see how it goes, and hopefully we can finish our night shift in one piece. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? Yes. Yeah. So, that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, he like just said it to get me out of the building. Uh, wait a sec, oh. I have another call. Hello? Hey, Hello? It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. I'm just not feeling too well. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. I was hoping you could come in and... Three cadavers. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Holy shit. That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. <gasps> see? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations. I have to go. Like, right now. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Where are my keys? So her apartment is actually not that bad. It's really cute. Very small and cute. Death and Decay, a book covering the process and science of decomposition. Cool. And Bomb, a book about the history of preservation and how people use it to cope with death. Cool, cool. I wanna explore. Oh. Yeah, this is actually a really cute apartment. I would love to live here. She should have a TV though. Oh, the TV's right there. Okay. Awesome. Keys. Keys to the apartment, car, and the front door of River Field. There we go. Okuo cereal. It supposedly doesn't have bees in it, but they keep putting it on the box that it's got bees in it. What? <laughs> okay. Moth bomb cereal. It's insanely sweet. Luna bit cereal. Kind of tastes like leaves and sticks. Yuck. Yikes. She doesn't have much. Okay. I respect the minimalistic life. I'm guessing this is the bathroom, but we can't open it, so we'll just go. We'll just go. Alright, I guess I'll head to the back and get started. I choose violence. I choose violence. <laughs> Let's see. That is a creepy picture. Anything to look at over here? No. Clipboard. A clipboard used for forms and keeping track of mortuary tasks. At least I can keep track of things. Yes. These are embalming reports. Rebecca, thank you for coming in on such short notice. 
the body currently in the embalming room is done, so please return it to the cold storage and get started on the next one. I've left the key to the embalming room in the top drawer of the front desk. Raymond. P.S. Don't forget your clipboard. Sounds good. Okay. Right. Mouse button. Okay. Well, that's gonna come in handy. Okay. Close the door. Let's put him away. Open the bay with the body's name. Pull out the rack by holding the use button and walking backwards. Wheel the gurney over to it and the body will automatically connect to its holder. Cool. Let's try to move it over. Let's see, which one are you? Wait, I thought they said there were three cadavers. I only see two names. Oh my god. There's only two bodies. Cheryl Cummings. Yeah, there's only two. Sean Rich. Uh oh. I don't like this. nervous. I thought they said three cadavers. Okay, let's go, Cheryl Cummings. Let's go, Cheryl. All right, let's check you out. But before we get started, let's close the door. Where does this lead to? Okay, at least it's locked. saw something here. It could be my imagination. Wait. I thought I closed this door. What? Nope. Nope. No thank you. No thank you, ma'am. Okay. Record any distinguishing marks. Enter markings into computer and print report. Cool. Um, I don't really see anything on her though. Okay. Oh. Oh. Scratch marks? Interesting. I can't click on that one. 
I guess I have to rotate her on this side. <laughs> okay. I don't like this. Oh! It's on her face! Like, she got attacked by some... What? What? What was that noise? Okay... She's 94... Oh! <laughs> okay... No, we're trying to look at her hands... Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I want... What? What? How do you turn the lights? No. No. We got six out of six. Cool, cool. Computer. Pick the record. Okay. So Cheryl Cummings, age ninety-four. Um. Mild abrasion on the head. Left shoulder, she has a mild abrasion. Her left arm, mild abrasion. Where's the left arm? Oh. She has a mole. Her right shoulder, she has a contusion. Her right arm has a mole. And that should be it. I need to file the copy up front. A packet of mortuary paperwork related to the handling of the deceased. File up front so they are available if requested. Sure. Oh, I'm scared. But okay, sure. Time to embalm. Time to embalm. What? Oh no. Do I have a flashlight? No. Bombing fluid in pump. Make an incision in the carotid artery. 
and jugular vein with scapel and forceps. Okay, so we need the fluid. Where do we get fluid? Oh. Methanol. Okay, so that's not it. I can't use that here. Is that it? What else? Bleaching. Formaldehyde. Oh. Oh, humectant and glue something. Humectant. Um, uh, no. Nope. I think that's all for Mauda Hide. Oh, here, my new work badge. Where is the humectant and the something that starts with a G? What's that other thing? Belongs to... Rebecca, you weren't supposed to find this yet, but I suppose you found my key. You simply aren't ready for this work. I can't you... I can't let you live what I live, not yet. Maybe in the spring. What? Was I not supposed to open that yet? Oh. Sorry. I probably was not supposed to open that yet. Oh god, I really can't find that thing.
now. Uh, what? decision okay four steps Jugular. Oh my god. I don't know what's a jugular. Jugular vein. Oh. I can't use that. I can't use that here. Jugular vein? Obviously. <laughs> Will herald the coming of my house. No. No. Oh, I do have to. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Owens. What? They've done an increase for you, so that's 300 milligrams now. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I do so much. Thank you. I don't care about anything anymore. I don't want to be here without you. What? Please, just... I love you. What is that? Oh, a ring? The year coin, this... Oh, ten-year coin. This is my coin. Can I take it? Somebody! Get me out of here! They're gonna... They're gonna kill me! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I'm 
sorry. You killed him. No! I think it's time to leave. We quit. Peace out. Peace out. We're going. We can make a quick escape. <gasps> no, stop it. What do you want? again. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Craft two beams to both veins and connect to embalming pump. Tubing to both veins. Whoa, that's gross. Engage, pump, and let the body drain. Nothing scary now, right? It's back to business. Fill an empty IV resort bag with cavity fluid. Oh. And fill it with cavity fluid. Okay. And then... Insert trocar into the abdominal cavity. What's a trocar? Oh. Ugh. To fill body cavities, insert the trocar until it stops to begin the flow of embalming fluid. Once the ca that cavity is full, pull the trocar back. doing it oh my gosh this is interesting
Oh god. <laughs> Doing good. We're almost done with our task, guys. For one cadaver. There we go. Cool. Pour pump cleaner into the embalming pump. Okay. Pump cleaner, it's right here. Turn the body, finally. After all this time. The door is open. The four seals have marked my coming. The halls of Satan what? echo my return. I am here. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not here. <laughs> to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!